Here's the question you've got to ask in order to solve this mystery, to be absent from the body is present with the Lord. You've got to ask this simple question. Can I stand in the presence of God like I am now, flesh and blood? And once you find the answer to that question, everything falls into place. Okay? Can I stand in the presence of God like I am now, flesh and blood? Now, you know, there was a story in the Bible where God said, where um, Noah, no, Moses, yeah, Moses, let me get this right. Moses said, show me your glory. You know, Moses, Moses wanted to see God. Now, I've met people that you know, claim they have seen God. I even saw something recently that some person claimed to had, he went to hell and back or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's some of the craziest stuff out there. Some of the con most convoluted, craziest stuff when it comes to religion. You know, this guy, someone claiming he went to hell and back. He's got, his face is all burnt up. You know, most of my friends that go to hell don't come back to tell about it. I mean, I'm just kidding. But, uh, it, it, this, is, this is, I think he's on the internet or something. Some guy claiming he went to hell and back. All right. Um, Exodus 33 and verse 20 says this. Here's, you know, the answer. Moses wanted to see God. And he said, God said, you cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. Now, why is that? Well, you know, well, Revelation talks about Christ, God being his countenance as the sun shining in its strength. In other words, if you were to see God the way you are now, your eyes would just melt right out of the sockets. You know, it'd be like an Indiana Jones movie when they, op they open up the Ark of the Covenant, and that's what happens. Their bone, everything just melted and ultimately came dust that just blew away. Well, that's what would happen to you if you tried to stand in the presence of God the way you are now. In other words, you've got to be changed, Okay. John 1 and verse 18 says, no man has seen God at any time. Why? Well, because you can't. You can't see God the way you are now. You would not survive the encounter. Your body has to change. Well, the question is, okay, when? When does this change take place? And if we can identify when the change takes place, we can identify when we're going to be in the presence of God if we can identify when this change takes place, when this body is changed to something else that is able to stand in the presence of God. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.